hi guys it's elijah tyrod and i'm back with another video like comment subscribe share but um i wanted to come on here and have a conversation with you guys today let me stop playing but for i really wanted to come on here and have a conversation with you guys about something that i hold very near and dear to my heart um just because i feel like it is very 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 important and we're living in a day and age where a lot that was done in the dark is now coming to the light because we now live in the age of aquarius so you know what i'm saying all of this information that we didn't know now we do know you know what i'm saying and it's our responsibility once you learn this information to spread the knowledge you know what i'm saying knowledge is power but anyways um what i wanted to come on here and have a conversation about is and I, I'm not going to lie, at first I was hesitant about having a conversation about this because folks don't like when you get to talking about this. And if you know what I mean, you know what folks I'm talking about. But the conversation is about our health, okay? I know I talked about it in the last video about detoxing your body and getting all the parasites out. But what I really want to dive deeper into is the fact that, um, one, your health is your wealth. And I understand um, if you were ever off into the medical system, you understand that the medicines that these pharmaceutical companies prescribe, um, they don't actually heal anything. Like, they treat the symptoms. We've known this for a while now. People are starting to preach it more and more and more. You've seen this great resonation with all these nurses and how the medical system is treating them. And we need to dive a little deeper into the fact that you're not saying this stuff is not out here to heal you that's not the point it's to treat your symptoms and if you realize if you're just treating the symptoms baby that ain't gonna heal nothing however there's a flip side to all of this um i want to say when i was 21 which i'm 28 now um i made the decision to study to be a botanist and the reason as to why i remember i was having a conversation with my grandmother after i got my first apartment um on my own and i have pretty much told her like grandma i want to go into botany now if you don't know what botany is botany is the study of plants okay why i wanted to go into botany is because young me knew i don't know how i knew but i knew everything that we need to heal ourselves grows on this earth okay i told her at a ch as a child i said majority of these medicines are made from plants and herbs okay so if we know that why don't we just go eat the plant, okay? Like, I, I don't understand why it's a middleman. Why are you taking that when you could just go get the plant yourself, go eat that, you know what I'm saying? Cut out the middleman. At this point, you actually heal. So, um, another thing that kind of made me go off into this field of exploring and learning, and like I said, it's not something that anybody made me do. It's just something that I was like, oh, this works. This is what I probably should be doing, what I probably should be studying. Um, but I remember I had this teacher, oh, if y'all know, I'm from, I'm from the east side of Detroit, and I ain't saying, shout out to us. Um, but I went to this middle school called Delphio. I don't even remember this guy's name, but when I say, you know, y'all always got that one teacher, that one teacher that makes you question everything in life. And when I say this particular man probably changed the mindset of dozens of children in inner city Detroit, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what his name was. I do not remember. Um, I think it was Mr. Henderson or Mr. Anderson, but it was our sixth grade teacher. If you know me and you went to school with me in middle school and you remember exactly who I'm talking about, please put his name in the comment section because I do not remember this man's name. But like I said, he left such a profound impact in my life. But I remember him stating um, he was the first person to actually mention Dr. Sabi to us, which back then... I didn't even know who that was. I didn't know who he was talking about, but he was like, there was this guy that healed people of cancer and herpes and other ailments that they tell you you can't get rid of. Um, with He didn't tell us exactly what, but he pretty much told us the cure to cancer was in a book. So I'm like, wait a minute. If, <laughs> what? If the cure to cancer is in a book, I need to find this book because you know how many people are dying of these ailments on an everyday basis you know what i'm saying so i realized young me started searching you know what i'm saying i started seeking and looking and asking questions like where is this information and where can it be found you know what i'm saying 
child let me stop and say baby the sun is out here shining okay if you was up if you're up in the midwest or if you're anywhere where the sun is shining baby go be out in the sun because it's up here upgrading folks dna i'm sitting in the last video i'm gonna keep saying it again go be out in the sun okay if you're out somewhere and it ain't no snow go put them feet in the earth okay that's another healing motif but um like i said i went in search of these books because i'm like wait a minute you know what i'm saying it's some information that's unknown that i want to know if you know me i love the unknown you know what i'm saying it does not scare me it it in it, it excites me to understand things that I don't currently understand now. I ask a lot of questions. I do a lot of research. You know what I'm saying? I read a lot of books. Okay? Just just because that's what I like doing. But um, he pretty much told us that. And like I said, fast forward a couple of years later, I'm an adult. I have my own place. I decide I'm about to start spending money on books on top of books on top of books. Take my butt to Barnes & Noble. And I find what I was looking for. You know what I'm saying? When they say the cure to cancer is really in a book, it's in a book, okay? I'm trying to tell y'all, this stuff is not hard to find. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to understand the way that the system is set up is not set up for the betterment of you. And as time goes on and as information keeps coming out, you know what I'm saying? People are starting to realize it's some truth in all of this. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, am I going to say it in this video? Yeah, I am. But, um... Pretty much, people have to change the way that they eat because our bodies, um, on the average person does not get enough vitamins and minerals to sustain their everyday living. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are eating these overly processed foods, which it has no nutritional value. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are just eating garbage and wondering why our bodies are, you know what I'm saying, developing these sort of ailments, and it's because we're not feeding our bodies the proper foods this is so crucial if we are going to move forward as a civilization we have to change the way that we take care of ourselves i'm gonna keep preaching this at the end of the day your health is your wealth it does not matter how much money you make if you are not healthy you are going to turn around and spend all that money that you made on trying to better your health so at the end of the day our health should be our main focus anything you need to heal you grows on this earth study plants you know what i'm saying if you're off into eastern medicine because a lot of this information can be found in eastern medicine from yogis and just different type of you know what i'm saying practitioners you will realize not only are you know what i'm saying the things we need to to heal us found within nature but certain things like reiki yoga is incredibly um healing a lot of the fact that a lot of people don't get out and move your body you know what i'm saying you cannot sit in the house you know what i'm saying sitting on the couch watching tv all day go outside you know what i'm saying i realized a couple of years ago you don't even see children outside like that anymore and then you wonder why the obesity rate for these children is so high because kids don't even go outside to play anymore you know what i'm saying my generation i grew up in the 90s i mean I, I was born in the 90s so i grew up in the early 2000s and baby we all knew the rule you better be in this house before the street lights came on but we spent all day being outside and if you notice our generation to this next generation significantly different as far as health wise i realized that at a young age like why is all of these kids that are younger than me so much bigger than i am People are not moving their bodies. You know what I'm saying? People are not going outside. Y'all not getting sun. You know what I'm saying? We're not. And I can't say y'all because at one point in time, it was me too. You know what I'm saying? What even started me on my veganism journey is like towards the end of COVID. Child, your girl was 250 pounds. Okay. I went vegan. I went vegan and within three weeks, within three weeks, and I never got off my couch. Within three weeks, I went from 250 to 210 just by eliminating meat and dairy and like i said if you've watched any of my other videos i may have mentioned it before i used to be a personal trainer at la fitness you know what i'm saying like i used to coach people for a living which i knew our food played a huge part in you know what i'm saying our weight gain and our weight loss so it wasn't like something that i knew but i didn't know how profound how profound it 
how, how big of an effect it had on our bodies and our minds and the way that we think. Now, I'm not saying you're going to have to go cold turkey tomorrow, but all I'm saying is if you want to get rid of all of these illnesses, get rid of the meat, get rid of the dairy. First of all, meat has so many parasites in it and those parasites get into your bloodstream. You know what I'm saying? They, they stick within your intestines and you have to think, how does this affect me? How does this affect my mind? How does this affect my body? How does this affect my everyday living? Then you have, baby, dairy. First of all, dairy has mucus in it. Mucus gets into your lungs. It causes inflammation. That inflammation leads to um, different types of infections. And those infections lead to people having asthma, bronchitis, just all sort of ailments that deal with your lungs. Our lungs are supposed to take in oxygen and that oxygen is supposed to sustain us. You know what I'm saying? So if your body is not even taking in enough oxygen, it's working overtime just for you to breathe. You know what I'm saying? Like we have to get out of the way that we are taking care of ourselves. One, it's not even conducive to us. It does not benefit us at all, nor does it benefit the environment around us. If you look off into environment, uh, well, in environment i can't even say the word right now so i'm just get joe if you look off into nature you'll realize us killing these animals is not helping the world it's not helping us it's not helping the world you know what i'm saying if we keep going the way that we're going this world is really going to cease to exist and you can either you know what i'm saying hop on board and understand that or you know what i'm saying the planet is but to wake back up and the way folks is moving, she ain't too happy. You know what I'm saying? Mama Gaia is not happy with what's been going on on this realm. You know what I'm saying? So we are at a point where we have to change. And like I said, you have to learn to take your power back and understand your healing is not going to come from that particular system. It's just not. You know what I'm saying? If you're waiting around for them to heal you, the chances are that'll never happen. So with that being said, I need people to understand, take back your power, study your chakras, you know what I'm saying? Understand how that works in correlation to the body and how blocked chakras and emotional trauma can block you from moving forward in life in any sort of circumstance, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people hold different, hold on to different negative emotions and it's keeping you from moving forward, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, if study chakras study herbs you know what i'm saying um i actually might post a, a picture you know what i'm saying with a lot of the books that i read so that people can reach out and get this information themselves now if you don't feel like reading the book because some of y'all be real real busy i know that you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day don't nothing come before your health it shouldn't it should not and a lot of men First of all, y'all dudes, y'all don't like going to doctors, and I, I feel you, because I don't either. You know what I'm saying? You was not about to catch me up at the hospital. Baby, I promise you, you will not. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't need I don't need to talk to y'all about nothing. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of y'all men don't really take care of your health in the way that you should, and that has to change. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying go run out to the doctor and, you know, to do this, but you really need to take care of your body. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your mind as well. You know what I'm saying? Get away from that TV. You know what I'm saying? Read a book. People don't even read books like that no more. And we should be learning something new every day. And I'm not going to even say get away from the TV. Because if you on YouTube watching documentaries or educational videos, that's fine. Like I said, you need to learn something every day. Move your body every day. And feed your body the best of the best foods. And when I say the best of the best foods, I don't mean that $150 steak. I mean, you know what I'm saying, them organic vegetables, you know what I'm saying, that's growing with no pesticides and no herbicides on them. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I just say that to say we can cure ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And you don't need any outside factors in order to do that, aside from the plants and the trees and stuff that grow within you know what i'm saying and people don't also don't understand a lot of these weeds and stuff that grow in your yard a lot of them have medicinal uses people don't even know this stuff you know what i'm saying word has to get out go in your garden go out front in your yard and see what weed is this what does this do when steeped and ingested you know what i'm saying like i said i studied botany just for this specific reason because i realized 
everything that grows around us can be used to heal us. Like I said, most of these medicines come from plants. So if they come from plants, why we just don't take the plant? I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying what folks is already thinking. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to say it. So, with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Like I said, stay out in the sun. You know what I'm saying? Go let the sun upgrade your DNA. Baby, it's shining. Okay? Like, do y'all y'all see this glow? You know what I'm saying? Your skin just... <laughs> Coconut oil. Sun. Okay? Um, but like I said, have an amazing day. Um, I hope this information reaches those who all need it. Cause like I said, it's a lot of people out here that are sick and they don't realize why they're sick. Your food is your medicine. You are what you eat. So if you keep eating, messing foods, you know what I'm saying? You inside your body gonna be messed up too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. I have not been to the hospital for real, for real, for an actual ailment in a long time. I don't get sick. My immune system is A1 aside from that one time I relapsed and had some milk. And I realized, oh, snap. You know what I'm saying? This milk really be making us sick. You know what I'm saying? This dairy really be making us sick. So now I'm completely plant-based. I'm completely, I don't do any of those. You know what I'm saying? Any, anything outside of, you know what I'm saying? raw food well i wouldn't even say raw foods because i do cook my foods it's actually not a good thing to overcook your food either because if you're eating a lot of fruits and veggies a lot of the times we cook the um the actual nutrients out so it is a good to you know what i'm saying eat raw if you do want to cook it you can cook it you know what i'm saying but we really have to take better care of ourselves and like i said we have this idea of taking care of ourselves means luxury and this and it's not you know what i'm saying none of that matters at the end of the day if you're unhealthy because like i said you're not going to do anything but turn around and spend all that money that you've made on your health you know what i'm saying and like i said do not believe the hype that oh this can't be cured yes it can you know what i'm saying y'all know that one man is not even here on this earth no more mr Sabi, dr Sabi, because he's already proved this so if this is something that's been proven in the 80s why is this information not mainstream you have to think, why, if these people were actually cured, I don't mean temporarily cured, I mean permanently cured of these ailments, why is this information not being made public? I'm just making people think, you know what I'm saying? All this stuff that's, that's imposed on us and all this information that's given to us, you have to think, how does this inf information actually benefit me? They overload you with all this, you know what I'm saying, this information, but nine times out of ten, the information that they're overloading you with does not help us in any sort of way. What we need to know, we don't know, you know what I'm saying? But they'll tell you some BS real quick, fast, and in a hurry. Like I said, we're living in a new age where the truth is no longer hidden it's in the light all you have to do is seek the answers and you shall find like i said i have a midriff of books that i read you know what i'm saying and i go back to i am going to make a post just with a few of the books that i have read that have helped me and therefore hopefully it may help somebody else like i said don't get discouraged don't lose hope you know what I'm saying? Because all of this stuff can be cured. And I don't just mean physical ailments. I mean mental ailments as well. Depression. Um, anxiety. Baby, I want to say a year and a half ago, oh my goodness. I used to have the worst anxiety there is. I don't suffer from that anymore. I don't. I don't even know what anxiety is at this point. I don't even remember what it feels like. You know what I'm saying? It's completely gone. And I never took any medicine for it. You know what I'm saying? I just say that to say we have to, as a society, get away from taking these pills and potions. Because that's exactly what they are. They're not benefiting you. Go back to what your ancestors used to do, baby. My grandma used to go out in her yard. She used to pick this and pick that, dry it out, and put it in some tea, steep it, and we used to drink it. And I used to feel better. You know what I'm saying? for whatever you know what i'm saying she used to i remember i got my first apartment and my grandma made sure she gave me some raw ginger and some raw um garlic 
People don't even realize how healing raw garlic is. You know what I'm saying? People don't realize how healing raw onions are. It's, it, it, it's simple stuff that we do on an everyday basis. And if you tweak this and tweak that, you'll see a profound difference. You know what I'm saying? Eat fruits and vegetables. Like I said, if you watch my last video, I'm to the point where I no longer drink juice that's not 100% juice anymore. Because what is 15% juice? What is the other 85%? You know what I'm saying? All this high fructose corn syrup and all this overload on sugar. People need to stay away from that because that is addictive. You know what I'm saying? That's not to say you don't need to eat nothing sweet because there are natural sweeteners. You know what I'm saying? But we have to take back our power and get ahead of our health and stop allowing outside factors to take control of your health. Period. But anyways... I said I was going to end this video a long time ago because I got to go um, do some stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I told y'all I am going to start doing cooking videos. I actually might post a picture today because I have to go um, make some food for a client of mine. Um, yeah, I cook for people too. You know what I'm saying? Shane, girl, fine as she can cook. I actually might post a little picture. I might do a little video, you know what I'm saying, of what I'm cooking today, you know what I'm saying, just so I, people can get it a, a idea, you know what I'm saying. I told you I'm fully vegan. So, yeah, but, um, yes, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope this message reads somebody that it actually helps, you know what I'm saying. Like I said, I am going to post that picture so you can get an idea of where I got this information from. So, if you yourself want to read this information and you're not ashamed, to heal yourself. Because, baby, I done did it several times over. I broke my foot last year and never walked into a hospital. And if you don't know me, you know I dance. I've been dancing since before I could walk. Baby, I dance better now on this foot than I did back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Them plies and stuff. Your girl be wilding. Okay? But anyways, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye!